Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gloria. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So I wanted to transform this plant and kind of give it like a different moss pole and make it a little bit bushier. So that's why I'm propagating. And yeah, stick around if that's something you want to watch. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe because it, why not? <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. And yeah, let's uh, go ahead and bring you my pink princess. This is how it looks like. It's super top heavy because it's large and in charge. It's like a beast of a plant. Like, look at the size of these leaves. I don't even know, like, what the heck happened to it. It's not super pink or super variegated. It's just humongous. Like, the size of this leaf is so much bigger than what it originally came with. Like, look at this. This is what the type of leaf I got. And it's slowly dying off. I have some, like, wonky looking leaves down here, too these two super variegated ones, which are really nice. A little bit sun bleached, but otherwise it's still a pretty good plant. Got some uh, cat hair, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'm thinking of most likely chopping it right above the most variegated leaf. So this is the pink leaf that kind of is the last pink <laughs> that we have on this plant. So I want to chop it just right below, the, right above the node where the pink leaf comes out and I'll have all of this to propagate. So let me go grab my scissors. Okay, can you guys see me? I'm kinda hidden behind this giant, giant plant. So I'm thinking I will cut it. Let me first take off this piece of Velcro. So it looks like, yeah. The plant's not like completely attached to the moss wool, probably because I don't keep it wet enough. <laughs> and I will cut it right here so I want to get it as close to the node that is still attached to the plant just so it won't be like too long of a stump because that piece of stem is actually useless so yeah just gonna make a chopper right here oh that's a big piece so after you cut it you essentially have this really annoying red drippy like substance I don't want to drip it, but it's like oozing like pink liquid. <laughs> also the same on that plant, so I do want to clean it up. Okay, so that's how the plant is looking like now. So I don't think I need such a big moss pole, so I do want to kind of just remove this moss pole and yeah, give it a shorter moss pole. I realize it's just way too top heavy and it just like, I don't have one of those moss poles that can be secured to the pot, so it's literally just like chilling in the soil yeah so we shall remove that and i think i'm just going to use the original moss pole that i had in it which was this little baby and it was just like a piece of a wooden dowel and i wrapped some twine around it and some electrical tape at the bottom to prevent any like molding okay don't think I can. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to take it out of its pot, unfortunately. So I didn't want to damage the, the roots, so I will just kind of take it out, give it a little squeeze. Okay. Very attached to this pot for some reason. Oh my god, why is there so many roots? It's really cool because the roots are pink, which is like very unique. You guys see? They're like pink roots. And I just want to loosen it up a little bit. So I don't think I'm going to up pot this plant just yet, but I will kind of put it back into its pot because it's root bound, but I think the soil is still fairly fresh. I only repotted this less than a year ago i would say like maybe six months i don't know why the soil is so compacted there's quite a lot of perlite in here i think because the soil is a little bit wet it just got watered recently and i loosened up some roots that were in the middle where i want to insert the moss pole it's not even a moss pole it's just support steak so yeah this is a lot of roots honestly <laughs> But don't think I'm gonna pot it because I don't want to. So I just put some soil back into the bottom. 
get this nicely situated. <sighs> Hands are so dirty. And just kind of have it like that. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put the soil back in. Pack it in nicely. did break a few roots but nothing too substantial there were already so many roots so I don't think it's gonna really be a problem what I think I'll do is probably remove this leaf actually and have a longer stem where roots can grow out of this node here and this node so let me just cut off this leaf so goodbye leaf, this was a pretty leaf, it's a really big leaf, <laughs> I think it was the beginning of the really big leaves. And let me clean up this piece. So this was one of the leaves that actually got stuck and strangled itself and literally broke off so that's pretty useless. It might activate the node, I don't know. And I'm just gonna actually stick it back into its pot and let it grow and root in here. So I'm gonna try to secure it nicely. That looks pretty good. So I like to either soil propagate or propagate my princess in water. So I don't really like to do moss with this one. I don't really think it needs it. It's not that delicate <laughs> of a philodendron and it will be perfectly fine just brooding in soil. Oh, lots of cat hair. Okay, so I'm just gonna secure this piece to the moss pole. And I think I'll connect these two as well. So sometimes when I cut my Velcro piece is too short. I just connect two together. It's honestly not a huge deal. And just secure it like that. So I have less of a tall plant and more of a bushier plant now. I think it looks better. I think over time it'll probably kind of sort itself out because right now it's looking a little wonky. And yeah, this is pretty much just gonna be two plants in here. Maybe I might add a third plant once it gets too tall again, but I think I'll keep it as a shorter, bushier plant from now on. And hopefully this propagating will lead to more pink variegation, continue with the bigger leaves, and I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, that pretty much concludes today's video. I really have to clean up because it looks like a complete mess now. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.